everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, please. The Binding of Isaac, we're randoming Cain or Judas. Cain or Judas. Well, it's a weirdly happy medium, I guess. Oh, gonna be one of those runs, is it? Mates, uh, we're not gonna take the toothpicks, apparently, by the way. Toothpicks carries like a .04 damage upgrade or something, might be shot speed upgrade. Effectively, not literally useless. I guess we'll take both of these pills. Oh, that sucks real bad. And that is not proportionally useful for where we are at this point in the game. This is a bad start to a Maggie run. Our, uh, our TPS is going to be woeful for an awful long time. As woeful, it sounds like an awesome name for a waffle restaurant, but in actuality, um... I'm not going to use this moon card until the next floor, because on the next floor we might be able to swing something really awesome out of it. Like, we might be able to save a key, ride a cowboy, and actually get our way into a, a special room as a result. The secret room is just a little bit more valuable on the next floor, even with that key. Yeah, uh, Wovel sounds like an awesome name for a waffle restaurant. W-H-O-A-F-F-L-E. Woeful. It's perfect, actually. Why am I giving these golden ideas away for free? In any case, um, yeah, it's it's terrible. It's a synonym for terrible, though. I guess that's another reason why that might be a terrible name for a restaurant. But in any case, I'm not a restaurateur, nor an investor in restaurateurs. So, uh, I'm mostly just going to continue playing this video game and hopefully, hopefully, forget HP. That's the one saving grace for us right now. The HP is not a concern, temporarily at least. If we could just get, like, squeezy which would compensate for that tears downgrade and give us spirit hearts with which to protect our deal with the devil interest for the next floor, it would be so good. I won't complain about getting an HP upgrade, but it's tears damage or HP with like dire consequences potentially like cascading throughout the rest of the game if we don't. Unless it's like uh, the box. The box could work too. Okay, well, the reason I said the box could work, especially excited because we got two bombs here, um, the world card... World card! No, the world card is okay. And we're gonna use it because it should allow us to gain access to our secret room on this floor. And we'll take the moon card with us. That's uh, tears down, so we're not gonna take that. Um, yeah, the reason the world card is so valuable... Or sorry, the reason the box is so valuable is because of these consumables. Because there was a tinted rock right there. That gives us spirit hearts. These spirit hearts now allow us a much, much better chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. And that's not going to be enough money to make our shop on this floor worthwhile, but with the um, with the moon card, it's very conceivable that we can make our next shop worthwhile. And it's possible that we might have just gotten extremely lucky and dug ourselves out of this hole. So I'm not going to take toothpicks, even whether it contains a good upgrade or not. Or like a, the, the relatively minor update that it gives us is good or not, I should say. Um, I'm just going to do things the normal way. I would still like to save a key, so I don't think there's any rush on going to the shop using the, the moon card to get the money for it, if necessary. I might as well use the... Uh, uh, not the nun's habit, sorry, the yum heart there. And actually, I was going to say, the only reason I wouldn't use it is because if there's a blood bag around. But I was like, what are the odds, internally at least, what are the odds of there being a blood bag on our, you know, very first available floor here? Um, surprisingly good, I guess, because we came down here with 11 cents. Anyway. As tempting as it might be to play that blood bank right away, as tempting as it might be to go to that boss room right away, I think we're just gonna, like, play this floor very, very kind of casually. In a, an old-school Isaac way, if you will. Traditionally is maybe a better way to put it. Which is my way of saying that uh, I'm gonna go to the item room first, hope that it gives me something to carry me. And then we'll we'll worry about the kind of more intricate stuff afterwards. Because there's no reason to go to the boss room right away except to protect our spirit hearts. And I don't think our spirit hearts need protecting, even though I've taken some really dumb damage. I don't think we, our spirit hearts need protecting right now. We're probably not going to get hit five times on the boss. Or five times on the next room leading up to the boss. Probably. Now, it doesn't look like we'll be able to bomb our way into any special rooms, but we still do want to use the moon card. We might not have to use it on this floor. But without any bombs, we might as well use it on this floor, is kind of how I feel about it. Oh, that eternal heart is so useful in the future. And piercing shots is actually pretty darn good. 
Uh, our moon card was not where I expected it to... Well, our secret room is not where I expected it to be. This will give us enough money to for sure make our uh, boss room or our shop worthwhile. And our shop, hopefully, will have something decent in it. Blue candle would save me a lot of grief. But I can't really be too picky. Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations over Yumhart? Probably. Now, this would guarantee us a fight against Famine. I think we should take it. Get those early, uh... Um, get those early, uh... Cubes of meat up there. And we'll only take two. And this will give us a Spirit Heart as well. So we've, we've... Altered the run thus far. Pray I don't alter it further. We're in a pretty good position, I would say. You know, we have a Space Bar item that I can be very happy about getting the Nun's Habit for. You might be saying, well, you know... Yumhart was already there. If you got Nun's Habit plus Yumhart, you'd be sitting pretty as well. And that's true, but... Um, I almost feel like Nun's Habit, Book of Revelations is better, even for Blood Banks. You can't play them ad infinitum, but you're trading Red Hearts for Spirit Hearts, which is a really, really good trade. Especially, you know, one for one is is still good. It's no Guppy's Paw, but you get to refill the Red Hearts and use them later. Which, by the way, we will, of course, use our, um, our, uh, Blood Bank here for as much good use as we possibly can. We got two Spirit Hearts and a Cube of Meat, and this is the all-important deal with the Devil. Where we get the Pact, and money equals power. Yeah, this is pretty good. So the Pact is really going to compensate for that Tears Downgrade that we had earlier. Money equals power is just a great item because you trend upwards in terms of your... Uh, in terms of your money over the course of a run. Without a doubt. Um, very rarely do you end with less money than you started with in Isaac. So, oh my Lanta, that is a pretty sweet drop right there. Um, I'm, I'm not necessarily expecting that we're going to have a lot of benefit from money equals power now. But for three spirit arts, which, to be honest with you, is almost borderline free right now. That's a pretty sweet deal. Now our curse room ended up being shitty, so be it. Uh, I'm, I'm extremely excited by the position we found ourselves in here. We can't gamble anymore on the Blood Bank because I picked up the Eternal Heart, but that's okay. We're in a much, much better position. Piercing shots, the Pact, and money equals power leaving this floor. Huge. Huge plays. Nothing else here for us, right? Yeah, down to the next floor. All right. Exciting. Now, we will uh, we'll put a priority on going to our shop rather than, you know, just stacking up damage from money equals power. Because the compass is uh, it's invaluable, man. Well, I mean, that you could assign a value to it. Would it be worth paying, like, 80 cents for the compass? Probably not. I would at least... I'd, I'd feel a little salty about it, knowing how, how low it had been in the past. <laughs> I'd always be like, remember when the compass was a 15-cent item? Now you gotta take out a freaking loan just to pay for it. And also, of course, you know, our survival is the number one thing, and a lot of the items we can get on the shop will really help us with Book of Revelations, which will really, really help us with, us, with our survival, but... Yeah, piercing shots is kind of like, uh, it's considered oftentimes the poor man's polyphemus to some extent, which is just a, that's a great name for like a restaurant, not a restaurant, a wrestler. Introducing Northern Lion, aka the poor man's polyphemus. I'm not a good announcer, at least not for wrestling. I really think I would make a good sports announcer. I was talking with Bear about it on the uh, NLSS recently, but you gotta have, for hockey especially, you gotta take your voice up here almost. That's a really bad one, sorry. You gotta take your voice up here. He slots it back where Mama hides the cookie jar. It is 1-0 for the Broncoville Buckaroos. I think I can do it. Wow, very lucky to get a deal with the devil on this floor as well. And I was kind of hoping it would just be Krampus. I can't afford to take nine lives, and I really don't want to inspire any more ire by getting guppy yet again. Uh, but beyond that, I just think it's kind of a bad idea. And the shovel, I, I think the shovel's bad. If you're a speedrunner, sure, you can make good use of it. Or if you have, even if you're not a speedrunner, and you, there are probably some strategic situations where the shovel is a good pickup if your like survival is really, really in peril. Um, but for me, I can't believe that we almost got hit by that, despite running as fast as we could in the other direction. But for me personally, I would much prefer to just take things a little bit more slowly. And this is coming from the laziest man in the world. I would prefer to take things a little bit more slowly. And. Uh, <laughs> be more prudent. I can't believe that we're not going to get to go to any of the special rooms here, especially considering that at least one of them has to border the secret room. But all of our keys are inaccessible here, which is comical, uh, and all of our bombs are inaccessible here, which is funny because they would allow us to gain access to our keys. Womp womp, whatever. Down to the next floor, we picked up an HP upgrade at least. It's the catacombs. Dangerous, but you know, whatever. We're in an extraordinarily good position. It really sucks that we left behind what we know is a shop that would not have greed in it, because 
You don't get too many cracks at the shop. Even in the best of times, you don't get too many cracks at the shop. So for us to be able to... To, to have to pass one over sucks pretty bad. We could gamble, for sure. May actually take them up on that, but... I prefer to get the keys without having to spend money, because money is damage for us in this situation. Take us down to a half heart for now. I would love to get the HP plus speed upgrade. Now, but I can wait as well. Again, that's a last resort for keys. I would much prefer to not have to handle them uh, that way. If we have to, though, so be it. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for us to spend our keys that way. Ooh, that almost became very problematic. No secret room there, and we would have seen it with some combination of those, like, interlocking four bombs. Taking some really dumb damage. Uh, that's, that's on me. I'm getting way too aggressive. Our damage is not strong enough to just walk into enemies and kill them before they kill us. Should be fighting famine on this floor. Meat is such a good upgrade. Also, so happy that we found an arcade, because that means that we can go to the boss trap room and get items like meat, which help us out a great deal, long term and short term. Plus, you know, it feeds into itself. We get an HP upgrade because of the blood bank. The HP upgrade allows us to play the blood bank more, maybe get more HP in the future, and then we play more blood banks with that more HP, and we end up getting a ton of damage as a result. Anyway, Larry Jr. is going to die a very uh, dubious death here. He's going to go down super easily. Basically doing triple damage against enemies where piercing shots allow us to do that. Full health is the kind of thing that if we were later in the game, I would absolutely save and I would encourage you to do the same. But because we're early, I and I can get away with it, I think I am going to, if I have to, use this full health pill to gamble more on the blood bank. Because the worst case scenario there is we get a payout from the IV bag. Which is still, you know, if it's got to happen, you got to knock it out of the way, you know? Everybody's got to get their wisdom teeth out at some point. Well, not everybody. But, um, you, you get the metaphor, hopefully. Might as well knock it out if we, uh, if we have to knock it out early. The earlier, the better. The second worst case scenario is that we end up never getting the blood bag. Which would probably put us at, like, 60 cents. 60 cents is going to give us an awful lot of damage for this relatively early point in the game. Oh, that, why dodge into them? Like, just a total waste of spirit hearts. The next best outcome is that we get a lot, or the next worst outcome is that we don't get very much money, but it pays out with the blood bag quickly. We're not going to take this pill just yet. And the absolute best uh, option, and the option that very well could happen, I'd say it's as likely as the other ones, is that we get the blood bag after we get a lot of money. And then it's very, very much worth it. We'll have incredible amounts of damage and a huge HP bonus and a speed bonus, which is actually important as well. So I think that the upside is too high to ignore. But let's see what we get here first. I, if possible, I would prefer to go to the shop before we went through with this plan because, wow, another deal with the devil. Krampus? Ah, I was hoping it would be Krampus. Uh, I'd prefer to go to the shop first, because if there is, like, a nun's habit on the shop, which is unlikely, but could happen, then we could get so many spirit hearts as a result of using this full health pill as well, which would really be, like, a testament to just chain reactions, basically. I've lost so many spirit hearts. We're very lucky that we have uh, Book of Revelations, because I've been playing pretty terribly. On a, on a tactical level, on an intellectual level, my decisions and my luck have been pretty good so far, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And Lump of Coal is just, it's a straight upgrade, basically. So, um, I'm super excited to be picking that up. But, uh, I, I certainly could have had, like, double or even triple the amount of Spirit Hearts stacked up right now if I'd been a little less stupid. Above all else, though, we got a key from this. Now, that key is going to give us access to the shop, where we might be able to buy another key. We might just fight Greed instead. But we might be able to get a key out of it, and if we get a key out of it, that's pretty good. Plenty of secret room locations here, and plenty of bombs for us to access these secret rooms. So I'd say we check on those as well. Maybe we find greed in one of those. That would be helpful. Then we know our shop would be good. I really thought that would be it, honestly. That's it. Okay. No greed, but six cents. I'd say that's worth two bombs. Considering money equals power and the fact that we're maybe liable to spend some money right now. Please be the nun's habit coin purse. Well, there's a... Yeah, okay, so we have a full health pill in here. So that's pretty amazing, because we can just basically get free mo Oh, okay. Well, situation sorted itself out pretty quickly. Fortunately? No key for sale. Coin purse. I don't think the coin purse is worth buying. 
I think we'd rather save our money considering its damage. Now, I'll play until I get down to 30 cents. I really, really want a key. Which is why... I'll, I'll actually use my bomb to blow up one of these, too. Oh, Crystal Ball. That might actually be better for us than the Book of Revelations. And we got Fly Love. I guess we'll take it. Um, sure. Alright, we didn't get a key. We tried, though. You can't uh, hold that against me. By getting the crystal ball, that means our desire for map and compass is... Well, map less so because we can find secret rooms, but our desire for compass is kind of greatly diminished. I say we take this pill. Hopefully it's not a telepills. Okay, that's great because now we can actually come back here and go to our item room. Could have used it before we used the bombs, but hey, I wanted to make sure that we got the best use possible out of this. Everything seems to be coming up Mill House right now. Sorry to say that uh, I don't necessarily consider the D20 that good. I know I'm not in the minority there, but but uh, I, I wish I liked it more than I did. But I don't, and I'm sorry about that. We'll reroll these two. We got a key out of it. I'd say that's worth it. And that will give us shop access for the next floor. It's been a very... Up and down, kind of, you know, going with the waves, Maggie run thus far, but, uh, we're, we're very, very strong right now. This floor could have been better, but it did give us quite a lot anyway. Lump of coal, uh, crystal ball, a small upgrade, at least over, um, Book of Revelations. I can't believe we didn't fight Pestilence at all, by the way. Instead, we got Cat of Nine Tails. Um, yeah, we got, uh, a little bit of extra money, I think, over the course of this. And we have enough money that even if we bought something, we'd have a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is really where, you know, the rich get richer. Once you have 20 cents so you can buy a shop item and still spawn an arcade on the next floor, that's where, um, you start not being able to lose, really. So we have fly love, which is why we, uh, don't have to worry about those flies as much anymore, otherwise that room would have been a real nightmare. Could have used that bomb, actually. Would have been nice to knock that out. But with two keys, I'm gonna, uh... Definitely open up our item room here. I think we're starting to basically get to the point where the run isn't guaranteed, but it's not very far away from being guaranteed. Uh, the Hermit card will save... I mean, we might as well use it on this floor so we can take full health with us, so I'll use the Hermit card right now. Not very surprised that we ended up going up against Greed here. Oh. Oh, I all tapped out of the window by accident. That is not a smart idea. Be careful here. Just give me one second. I gotta check on something. Okay. Nothing to worry about. I'm actually super excited uh, that we have the Steam sale here. Not so interested in the library without rerolls. I'd rather save our key for the next floor. We're just like super, super unlikely to ever get uh, extreme value out of that. Careful. Um, yeah, the Steam Sale means that we can buy stuff with half of the damage penalty that we'd otherwise have. Not that that's an enormous problem for us right now. And that's just like, if I'm going to keep throwing away my spirit hearts, we might as well just give up the run right away, but... Yeah, this is, this is good. I don't like the Steam Sale, but picking it up for free is definitely the preferable option. We will go to our secret room as well, because I would love to stack up some fat ducats. Ducats equals power. This is the way I prefer to handle it. That could be telepills, so I don't want to pop it just yet. Uh, ooh, if that's counterfeit penny, we could make really, really good use of a blood bank. It is. Uh, we're going to try to ignore that. Until we finish this room, because these enemies could hurt me pretty easily when I pick it up. Ooh, be careful here. That's fly love. That's okay then. All right. Now let's try our secret room. Inside of our secret room, uh, six cents, which is actually going to become, I think, nine cents. The magic number. All right, so our damage should be pretty much sorted. Even without Mom's Purse, if we just find a blood bank on the next floor, this should be uh, pretty easy for us to handle. Can we access this chest? Yes, we can. A bomb? A uh, key, that's good as well. And a pill that is full health again, wow. It's kind of crazy how many full health pills we've been getting, but I'm not going to complain about it, especially considering no luck foot, no PhD. 
I got your PhD right here. The acronym actually works out basically perfectly. Pretty huge dingle. Now, if I had to pick a favorite item for dealing with Zambros, it might actually be piercing shots. Oh, that's so good. I'm gonna take the pill right away. I know it's kind of dumb. If it could telepills me to I am air. Well, it just moved me ever so slightly. Uh, we'll just get our full health pill back. This floor has turned out really well, which it's always encouraging. When the floor turns out well and it's Necropolis, you're like, okay, I must be doing something right. I was really hoping that'd be two of diamonds. I know two of clubs it, like that is kind of a lazy usage, but I think it's uh, smart so we can just focus on taking our full health pill with us and then trade one of our bombs for hopefully more bombs in addition to that key here. Well, more money. That's fine too. At this point, we basically can't spend as much money as we're earning, which is awesome. I'm still not going to go to the library just because we've already seen the book that we would be most interested in. And I didn't realize how important fly love can be. Oh, back up. They can still explode in your face. Sounds like a cautionary tale about getting involved in the adult industry. Did I just let myself get hit by one of those flies because I'm dumb? I think I did. But anyway, um... Yeah, fly love has really helped me out a lot on the necropolis. Or on necropolis, who would have thought? This is an annoying enemy. You know, I can't deny that. The eyes are kind of... Are they governed by fly love? Is that why they're they're moving so slowly? I mean, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong. Oh, I forgot I can't fly. Okay. I could easily lose all of my spirit hearts here. Let's play it cool. This is what we're looking for. Long distance shots on bloat. We get the super bonus from uh, Lump of Coal. We don't find ourselves at risk at all. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen there. Why didn't you move out of the way then, you idiot? Yeah, that's a real good question, actually. That's damn fine police work there, commenters. Squeezy, that's great. I'm very happy to have it. We don't need more red HP necessarily. The spirit hearts will back me up. We'll head down to the next floor. I'm feeling pretty good about things. Oh, that's so good. So I'm the only reason I'm not going to be gambling on the uh, on the blood bank straight away, and it's extremely tempting to do so. Uh, it's, the damage would be so nice, but is in case our shop contains. A nun sabbat, and we'll find out very quickly, so we can gamble straight away if we want to. Straight away-ish. Um, if it has nun sabbat, we really want to get the value of all these spirit hearts. Come on. Now this fly love is actually annoying for me there. It effing does. I almost can't believe my good fortune that we have nun sabbat in addition to the kind of insanity that we already have going on. This is uh, really, really lucky, and it looks like the streak. Just by virtue of that alone, probably will continue. Get ready for Spirit Hearts, Tarot Cards. It's gonna be awesome. And it almost makes me want to use this full health pill if we have to. Because we still get the, the money bonus. Like, everything that was true... Oh, that was dumb of me. Everything that was true earlier is true again. Especially now that we have the Sun card, we'll totally use full health pe here. We still get the damage. We still get the chance of getting that HP. Uh, but now... We also get the extra bonuses in the form of spirit hearts and whatnot, so it, it really just makes sense to use it. Especially when we have the sun card backing us up, because the spirit hearts we can stack up here are crazy. And honestly, the longer this takes to pay out, the happier I am. Even after we get to 99 cents, I will gladly sit here all freaking day. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me with this incredible good luck we're having here. Oh, the spirit hearts and the extra temperance cards. Let's get a temperance chain going. I walked into that by accident, but we got another spirit heart out of it anyway. Oh, this is glorious. I almost want to use the sun card here, because I almost can't imagine it paying out worse. Um, but we'll, we'll just go get some red hearts first. This is actually going to pretty much carry us for the rest of the game, I think. We don't really need that money, so we'll ignore it for now. Yeah, this is, this is really nice, and I could not care less, well, I could care slightly less, uh, about the actual end payout. I want those to never pay out so that we just get unlimited plays of our crystal ball. Kind of surprised we've gotten so few keys out of that. Not that that is a major concern for us at this relative point in time. Might as well go through this. I'm trying to get some red hearts now, like, geez, help me out here. I'm trying to completely break the game. And yes, I admit that with this situation in mind, the D20 would have been hilarious. 
but I am just happy to have a Maggie run where it looks like we're gonna become outrageously powerful. Maggie is not the worst character in the game. Very good beginner character in particular, but she's kind of annoying. Especially with that first tier's downgrade, I was like, just that random pill. I was like, oh, well, that's gonna do it for this run, then we're pretty much effed, huh? Nope, turns out we were actually in a position to have one of the strongest runs we've had in a long time. I've been saying that a lot recently, but I've been, oh, that was dumb. I've been genuinely believing it as well. Let's try not to walk into the uh, lasers any more often than we have to. We're not Catherine Zeta-Jones, right? We should take a lesson from her, dip beneath the lasers. Please give me less than three. You have no idea what kind of a hero you'll become to me and the people. All right, well, the red hearts are nice as well. We'll go back and gamble a little bit. And if Crystal Ball pays out with another Temperance card, I wonder how long we could actually just sit there and play over and over. Either way, I can't see how many Spirit Hearts we have, and I don't really care, because we're in a great position. We'll take this Empress card with us when we... No, we won't. We'll take the... We'll take the Sun card with us. I was really hoping that would be another Temperance card. So we could use the Hermit card, yes, to get another uh, deal with the Devil, but I'm not overly concerned about that right now. Thanks for your help. Just really want more Red Hearts at this point. If neither of them pay out with the blood bag, I'd actually be not, like, sad, but a little disappointed. Because we've had so many opportunities, or we will have had so many opportunities. I don't think I've been to the secret room, so let's get a little risky here. We got a half red heart. Might actually be worth it. As much as the fetus items are fun, I take them all the time on the show, by the way. I see people complaining in comments, like, Northern Lion never takes the fetus items. I actually think this run is going to be more fun without them. But uh, yeah, if you're one of those people that wants to see me take the fetus items, there's plenty of NLSS VODs where I do so. But I actually think that with money equals power, I'm going to have a more fun time with uh, with our existing kind of infrastructure. But I know it's going to burn some people. I apologize for that. Hey, free spirit heart. That's pretty good. What do you think? Do you want to sacrifice spirit hearts to get um, to play the blood banks more? I think it's actually not a bad idea. For every one Spirit Heart, we'll get a charge on the Crystal Ball, which is likely to pay out with one Spirit Heart. Like you saw right there. In addition, we have the chance to get the actual payout in that form, like you just saw. And then, well, that doesn't give us full health, but it takes us pretty close, and we'll just keep stacking up Spirit Hearts like this. Don't need to pick up the money. More Spirit Hearts. Even just with one Blood Bank, I think it probably pays for itself. Just the sheer amount of spirit arts we're getting is out of control here. We could also use our sun card and cheese it up a little more. Uh, two of spades. I'll pop it right now. Alright, well that went fantastically, I'd say. I don't know how many spirit arts we have. I don't even want to guess, but it's an extraordinary amount. Could go to our curse room, but we could also just not. And uh, fight mom and head on down to the next floor. And let's be honest, probably pretty much just cement our win at this point. This is why you always, if you have the ability to do it without getting yourself killed, always, always, always consider picking up money equals power. It's just too good. Plus four damage is a real uh, kick in the pants for the game. For you, it's an incredible advantage. Now, it would be awesome to have the opportunity to like become Guppy and just become Death Destroyer of Worlds. But... Uh, Either way, I think we're pretty much set for life here. Extra HP is nice, but not necessary. Counterfeit Penny, you did your job. Goodbye and welcome to the Polaroid. Plus, again, we don't have map or compass, but we've got the only other item in the game that makes it so having map and compass don't really matter because we can just figure it out for ourselves. Doctor Map and Compass, by the way, is my favorite Dutch cartographer. Everybody has one. Who's yours? M Mercator? What are you talking about? All right. Uh, forget the curse room. Forget the secret room. I'm gonna save my bombs just to make mom's heart a little faster. We have the luxury of saying that. And, uh, we'll just work our way down towards this boss right here. Where I really hope on this at this point we get a deal with the devil. Because we have more than enough HP to be very, very excited by the prospect of it. And again, we don't have the wafer, but we kind of do. We pretty much have halved damage. Not quite, pretty much. Uh, yeah. We're gaining a lot of HP on this floor in kind of a multitude of different ways. It's easy to forget we also do have the, the Sun card. This is one of those weird situations where the Sun card doesn't really double our HP. It kind of... I think I'm going to do it, honestly. It more than doubles our HP, 
based on the fact... Oh, that's so good. Uh, that we'd get so many extra... What, what is our card again? Sun? Yeah, it beats the Empress, even though we could use the Empress for this boss fight. I'm lazy. Um, basically, the Sun would give us so many more opportunities with that HP after we got hit. It would Nun's Habit up the Crystal Ball. That sentence almost makes no sense, but if you think about it, it does. And thus give us more Spirit Hearts and, you know, two of Hearts and stuff like that. You know, Hero Font cards. Uh, so it would actually give us like 1.4 times the health or something. I'm just throwing out a number that seems plausible there. I haven't actually run any kind of concrete figures off of it, but you hopefully understand what I'm talking about. It's like the most effective Sun card you could possibly imagine. More than doubles our amount of HP. Now. There's more HP, which is just kind of hilarious at this point. Um, why not, I guess, take Luckfoot? Especially because it hurting us gave us a Spirit Heart in return. That seems justifiable to me. And in a, a few rooms here, not as quickly as the last floor, but in a few rooms here we will figure out just where the heck we should be going. Should have saved our Crystal Ball for this floor, but I forgot that... It, let's be honest. I forgot that it would have mattered. Like, we're in such a good position at this point that it's more just like, eh, you know. If you're a millionaire, you want to buy salmon, you don't wait for it to be on sale, right? I'm guessing. Now. We're, uh... If you did, that would still be financially prudent, though. You got a good point there. Do as I say, not as I do. I don't buy salmon. We buy, uh, exclusively canned tuna. Not quite in that tax bracket yet. We're just going to use that, and this is, uh, we're lucky enough to find out that this is actually exactly the right way to go anyway. Which, not that it matters, because we're cruising through anyway, but good to know. Full health pill. If we find another blood bank, that'll be uh, something we'd consider using, which at this point would just be comical. If we could get red hearts off the screen and the staggering amount of spirit hearts we have, that would just be, uh, it would be a lot of HP. Maybe the most HP we've had in months. I'm so used to this, like, glass cannon style that I've been running recently that to, to take aggressive deals with the devil and still have so much HP is, like, incredibly foreign to me. Anyway. Damage is out of control. Killing the turrets easily. Our bombs are a little bit of a sore spot in that they're not very good, but our crowd control is going to be aided and abetted by the fact that we have piercing shots, so uh, we'll be able to hurt mom at the same time that we hurt mom's underlings. Which is, strangely, not an item in The Binding of Isaac. It's actually not that quick of a, <laughs> not that quick of a mom's heart fight. Maybe it would help if I didn't knock all my bombs out of the way. That one was a little bit better. And we're not doing quite, you know, Polyphemus Brimstone or Mom's Knife style damage here, but our rate of fire and the damage bonuses that we're getting are, are good enough to classify this as a pretty overpowered run, obviously. Two room. Well, you know what? If we just go to our curse room, we'll be able to use a crystal ball right away. So that kind of incentivizes it a little bit. We got a two of diamonds, which is just funny. And we have luckfoot, so these pills are not going to be bad. We definitely don't want to use uh, bombs or key. And that one was useless. Okay, well, fair enough. Good to know. Not going to be going to our secret room because we are uh, fresh out of bombs. Crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. Now... Ooh, taking a little bit of dumb damage here. That was some good foreshadowing. We're getting our spirit arts back at the same time, so it's not like an enormous concern, but still. It would be nice if we, you know, didn't do that. Eh. Another one of the rare sore spots in this run is that I can't fly, so I don't really feel comfortable trying to eke out that golden chest right there. Strangely enough. That could have seen that coming a mile away. Ah, oh, that was very lucky. And Crystal Ball's ready again. More Spirit Arts. At this point, it's pretty much a lock. Because the more you hurt me, the stronger I get. Like, that's got to be a pretty uh, punishing feeling if you're the game right now. How do you kill that which would get stronger every time you hit it? you got to wait for me to, like, starve to death or something like that in real life. I didn't expect you to break your uh, sequencing there. That's alright. Anything to make this fight a little bit faster? No, oh, I've bunged it up something serious now. This is the most redneck sentence I think I've said in a long time. We're going to use the devil card against Isaac because Isaac still is not something to be underestimated. But I very much doubt that we'll run into too much trouble. Even if, again, the more damage I take, the stronger I become. 
I'm almost loath to use the crystal ball because it takes off our damage for a couple of seconds. We've got just enough range to actually effectively land these shots and get the maximum bonus that we are capable of doing with our range um, from a uh, lump of coal. So I, I guess I'll count that as a blessing. Even standing still, we're taking very little damage. And again, the more we get hit, the more spirit hearts we get. I mean, the more spirit hearts we lose as well. We're, we actually still are losing spirit hearts, but man, it is, uh, it's going to be a slow grind if you're going to kill me at this point. Nun's Habit plus any healing item is just like, it gives you such a huge bonus. So we'll be taking the Sun card. We'll be able to use our Crystal Ball pretty much right away on the next floor. And that'll be another quick and dirty, overpowered run for us. Now these items pretty much are all trash for us in our current situation. We can actually do something with um, with the Spelunker's Hat. Please tell me that's like a Devil card. Yeah, Spelunker's Hat could be useful for us. But I'm, I'm really feeling like the seeds today are giving me some extraordinary advantages. Two of clubs. Eh, gives us some bombs. I'm not even going to go back for them, honestly. I, I think we have the perfect setup for me right now. And in a few rooms, we'll fight Isaac, or we'll fight Blue Baby. The run will be over, and we'll be uh, off on another Isaac run to try to continue the streak. It's amazing. As soon as you call it the streak, you know, in hushed tones, the game starts spitting you some uh, pretty hilarious seeds. I do... I kind of feel like I'm surprised by how little damage we do. Like, I would have expected our DPS to be a little stronger. That's not me complaining. It's more just me saying, like, come on. I thought we would be a little bit more potent. We're still going to win easily. Like, the Sun card combined with the fact that it's going to take us, like, 15 hits to even get our HP, like, taken off the screen. Um, we're, we're good. I'm not complaining. I'm very happy with my lot in life. But still... We could just get like a Polyphemus thrown in here, or at least a Max's head or something. Sure, we'll use them. Oh, what? Uh, I was gonna go back there. We might as well take the Magician card. Come on. There we go. We'll get that Sun card when it's prudent, which will probably be never. Ah, oh, it turns out it was a terrible idea to take the Magician card. Can we turn it off? We can take the Moon card and then back the heck out of here. I gotta stand really close now to make sure that I'm not hitting the flies instead. Another Spirit Heart. We actually are going to have HP on the screen. That's, uh, you know, serves me right for being a little cocky, I guess. The world card. I don't want to leave and fight him again. That's just, I don't want to invite that kind of disappointment into my life if I were to fail. Which I think is a plausible outcome. Devil card? If it was a devil card, I might have considered it. And I'm kind of just farting around here at the end of this fight. It was a good run, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.